Let's move on. Let's talk about, uh, I mean, we've got some kind of internal, almost a civil war going on now, if you ask me, with these pro-Palestine marches, which were confined to Saturdays, but now seem to be going on nearly every night. Uh, and uh, some of the Labour MPs who... Uh, supported Keir Starmer uh, by not voting for a, an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, which was proposed by the SNP. A lot of MPs went along with uh, Keir, who, who said, look, we'll go for a prolonged humanitarian pause, but we're not going for ceasefire. This has, of course, enraged the pro-Palestine mm. mob, and they're starting to attack uh, Labour MPs. So uh, they uh, gathered outside the constituency office of the Labour MP for Bethnal Green here in London, uh, Rashanara Ali chanted, vote her out, Labour Party, shame on you. Uh, they're saying she put her career before her conscience and so on and so forth. And now we're hearing that uh, another MP who, abst who abstained on the Gaza vote had her office uh, daubed in red paint uh, by protesters down in Wales. That's Shadow Welsh Secretary Joe Stevens. So this is getting serious. It's, it's, it? it's out of control, actually. We were talking about this on the show this morning, that actually there were school children involved in this as well. A, what are they doing out of school? B, who allowed that to happen? Clearly they were marshalled by adults. But it's also worth remembering, and we talked about this at some length this morning, you're very naked as a Member of Parliament, and you're going about, and it's great that you can have access to your MP, but it reminds me of David Amos in yeah. South End, you see. So you, you, you cannot have a militia, which is essentially what this is, going into someone's office... Work. Well, it is, isn't it? And then, basically, they're there with pitchforks expecting some sort of action in a, a constituency office. It's unacceptable. Meanwhile, of course, the police won't do anything because they will say, well, you haven't broken the law. Like, if you climb on a war memorial, that's not breaking the law. Well, I tell you what, it should be. Yeah, well, also, uh, you ask any copper. You, you, coppers can arrest anyone if they suspect a breach of the peace, if they suspect that the law may be being broken. Mm. That's... Uh, they get the go-ahead then to make an arrest, but they're not doing it. They're, they're not. not doing it. And it, it, it just does give rise, once again, to uh, what Suella Braverman said. They are pro-Palestine. They, uh, they, they play favourites. They, they do. And, and, and I think there's a major problem here. And, and at the moment, they're saying that, that Starmer is united. But what he's trying to do is position himself as the next Prime Minister. But there are real issues here. When you've got eight front benches, two parliamentary aides who all uh, rebelled, they were there then fired or they stood down or whatever. You've got MPs who've got Muslim populations saying, well, actually, I'm very unhappy about this. Because ultimately, Kev, this goes back mm -hmm. to their own future mm -hmm. because they want to stay in their constituency sure. office as a member of parliament. Absolutely. Uh, uh, let's move on. 